All right, before we get going, we can do a bit of the Finding a Mirror side quest. So, because we have access to this maid now, we can actually drop a mirror off for now. And now we can start looking for her. She can be found right over here. Find me. Come and find me. I'll be hiding all over the world, just like this. If you manage to find me, perhaps something good will come of it. So you get something every other time you find her. She's hiding in every town. A mirror can be found on the third floor of the Sutherland Inn in the bottom right corner. Come and find me. Congratulations! You found mirror number two. Keep up the search. In celebration of finding me, I'll give you a present. Here, take this. Seed of knowledge obtained. Which, this will be one way that we can gain job EXP for Luca. But we don't need any right now. We'll hold on to it. <laughs> Hold on to the job EXP. Where Amira can be found right behind Dondilia's tent. Found Amira number three. Where Amira can be found behind this tree. Amira number four. Seed of Race. Which we will actually be using now. Because we want to get Luca to human race level 10. Wait, that's job EXP. Race. Give it to Luca. This will be one of the only ways Luca will gain race EXP. And that pushed him up to human level 3. You learn prioritize EXP and prioritize job EXP, both of which are useless because of the, the equipment he has. But once he gets the uh, full prioritize uh, EXP, then we can actually unequip the the accessory we can have him on, so he'll be able to be a lot more useful. But that's later. For now, nothing changes. <laughs> Alright, now it's time to head on to Harpy Village and take care of everything there. So, let's head off to Iliasburg and be on our way. Ah, the orc girl. While her manners are a bit crude, I find her to be her design to be quite hot. And she's got a big butt that just don't quit. <laughs> so yes, I totally smash the orc girl. Anyway. Well, we got a pretty pathetic team here, so let's just get to it. Mm. Let's start with the bee girl. Is it a scary story? Maybe just a pen? Oh, she knows first aid, that's good. Let's go. Attack! Uh, I'm gonna start with the orc girl. Bear girls, formidable opponents out there fight. I can't move if I get my paralyzing stinger into them. They're also weak to being lit, you know? It's good to remember that these monsters are weak to pleasure and staff effects. The electric shock! Alright, nice dodge. This is gonna take forever. What if I give you a gun? Okay, they're both paralyzed, so we can deal damage. Good lord, this is gonna take forever. Oh, 
and you're supposed to eat all covered in something delicious in it. <laughs> well, you suggest it. bread, a man's body, your foot. A man's body is what you like to Yeah, that's the best. I'm going to cover your body in honey and then I'll break every inch. That's pathetic! Okay, the bus still paralyzed. I'll just use a herb. New attack. I do have a poisonous sting, but it's very weak. It's nothing compared to the sting of a hornet girl. Oh, conditional bonus, that's nice. Ah, uh, the paralysis is raw. Very story. Defend. You can have some of my sword, honey. Use it however you like. Oh, I'll get some money. Ow. Okay, they're both paralyzed again. But you can attack. Attack. Buy herbs. For Luca. And attack. Militaristic hornet. Okay, let's paralyze them again. The advanced species of insects are split into strong, independent insects and swarm friendly types. If it were up to you, which one would you focus on? Both. If I become a strength type, I'll learn more powerful insect moves. If I become a numbers type, I'll learn swarm attack skills. If I master both, I will be on the same level as the queen insect. What about boys with big ambitions? Oh, there's more money. Alright, that's a paralyzed. Attack! Alright, herb. And attack! Alright, we are down to orphalo half. Alright, I'm gonna paralyze again. Alright, that's half. I collected too much nectar. Damn, can't fly. Ah, oh, there goes the work, girl. I'm gonna stand up, but she's still paralyzed. The two oldest insect races were Beelzebub and Pavel Sags. She claimed one their ancient rivalry. The Pavel Sags, because the Beelzebubs were eliminated. Correct. Our modern monsters are descendants of Pavel Sags. The Beelzebub's strength was in their ability to massively reproduce. Which was seen as a threat. The monster lord back then wiped them out. Well, we should get a lot of money from this. Oh, she's actually on her own. Bear curls are natural enemies. They always steal our honey. I didn't realize that, too. You weren't too paralyzed anymore. Find an herb, restore, and attack. Alright. I do have a poison sting, but it's very weak. It's nothing compared to the sting of a clinker. Oh, there I get that one. Alright. She's almost down. God damn, this is gonna take forever. Alright, attack, 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 attack. I need a honey break. All right, god dang. Only 108 G. I thought we would get more than that. Oh, we did get more than that. It just doesn't tell us how much uh, Stella gets us. Now, first things first, did I? I did not. Oh, well, we never equipped you. Well, good thing she didn't gain any levels. So it's fine, I guess. There we go. Now she should be much better. Alright. Let's check our other things. 
that. Yeah, girls. Alright, caught. Uh, scary story. Defend. Attack. Looks always rude. That's why you really snort. Alright. Ow. There we go, that's a lot better. That's unfortunate. I do have a thing still, so that's fine. Phoenix Phil, but Aerie. Link, we're orcs! And that's incomparably awesome group of orcs you'll ever meet! Alright, but still not. Alright, Earth. Attack. Mm. A new weapon that suits an orc. What do you suggest? A club, of course. That's right! Orcs are skilled in the use of clubs. Bad touching, cherry. Bad touching. So you say orcs are bad touchers? I hope so, I'll touch you! Alright, that's one. I don't recognize this of orcs. What do you suggest? Oh, there we go, that's all. Nice crit. Now it's just we're off. Slimes are butts in the way, Grab. Okay, so far so good. Ah, uh, the Sparrow Girl. Sparrow Girls are quite cute. So, they're a bit timid, but I think their design's pretty interesting, and they are cute. So yes, I'd smash the Sparrow Girls. Uh, start with the bee girl. Okay, poison breath. Threaten. Threat in the Sparrow Girl. Rapid Fire on the Sparrow Girl. If my stinger is ever broken, I can always grow a new one. <laughs> Isn't that convenient? Alright. Alright, everyone's been poisoned. Oh, nice. Flare bonus. Wait, I'll forget, fuck it! Goes on rampage, let me reach it. On the B-Girl. Threaten the Sparrow Girl. Rapid Fire. Actually, threaten the B-Girl. Rapid Fire on the Sparrow Girl. Nice. Alright! <laughs> nice and easy with this team. Heroes reach level 7. Marius reached level 7. Farbun has reached level 7. 
Alright, good, good. I guess we have anyone that has the ability to heal, so... So we start here. Welcome to Happiness Village, where we live in peace with harpies. Need help getting somewhere? Nope. All the cute harpies left and went somewhere. Where'd you go, Pee Pee? Poor kid. I really want to find them. Leave it up to us! We'll find her for you! I can't believe it! I came all the way here looking for a strong harpy to test myself against. Well, they've all disappeared. Huh? No! I, I swear, I'm not looking for one to marry. I want to practice my sword play. Welcome! Happiness Village has the best fruit. How about some sweet honey? Cute, cute! You want an apple, Naruka? Luca, gold, please! Are you paying proper attention to your party's weak attributes? You need to be especially careful of party members weak to pleasure. You may be surprised how much damage they take in battle. If you know a member is weak to elements that an enemy uses, you can swap that member to the reserves. I'm really weak to pleasure, but I'm great at hitting and taking hits. Where could all those harpies have disappeared to? My son is betrothed to one of them, and now we have no idea where she is. I've looked everywhere, but there isn't a sign of them. Where on earth are they? They say the blacksmith here specializes in wind element. I heard he can craft weapons and armor that contain the power of wind. Doesn't look like he has a shop, though. I'm sure he's in this village somewhere, but where? It's a fairy. Just check by the fire. Certain weapons have hidden powers that allow you to use special skills when equipped. You want to try it out? Buy a wizard staff here and equip it in battle. You should have a new command. Weapon. Always check the description for weapons. If you see something like Staff Plus, the plus indicates it has a skill. Welcome! Some armor for you. Harpy feather hats are lightweight and durable. Alright. Welcome! Feel free to browse our items! Good thing we got plenty of those. Welcome! Good weapons are necessary when adventuring, and we carry lots of good ones. Unfortunately, I can't afford any of them. Spent all my money on armor. Crap, crap, crap! I came all the way here to buy harpy feathers only to find all the harpies are gone. There are no signs of a struggle, and none of the villagers seen here notice anything wrong. They all just suddenly vanished one night. They must have left of their own volition, but it's strange they wouldn't say a word to the villagers that they lived with so closely. This whole region is a giant forest, which is making you search for them rather hard, I've heard. Harpy feather sails? Man, I need to get friendly with the harpies too! It's no trivial matter that the queen harpy herself is missing. What on earth happened? After completing a dungeon, do you find returning to town annoying? Well, you're in luck! The merchant's job skill rescue request is just what you need. For one easy payment, you can return to the outside in a jiffy. Sure, there's a magic that'll do the same thing, 
But who wants to go through all that trouble to learn it? Well, you have to go through equal amounts of trouble to learn that skill. But wait, there's more! Ever need to restock on items from distant places? Now you can! With Wagon, you can return to any town you've ever visited. Villages, too. Now, I know what you're thinking. Yeah, a merchant might not be the best pie member in a fight, but you can keep one in your reserve party and still benefit from their support. In other words, I'm an indispensable member of this adventure. Is there a drunk job by any chance? Well, I mean, you can always just keep a stock of harpy feathers. <laughs> so why... And, and the thread is for the other skill, so... Not terribly useful, especially since they tend to be more expensive. A small town it thanks you for your hospitality. Would you like to spend the night for Tenji? No. Monsters in the Harpy family have a very high evade rate. Usually physical attacks will whiff right past them. Weapons like axes and boomerangs are easily avoided. Instead, a high accuracy weapon like a bow is the way to go. Magic attacks work well too, I suppose, even those nimble harpies can't dodge a spell. Leave the magic to me. As a hunter, I can easily take down harpies. Doggo. Woof woof! I love honey! Woof woof! I love honey! So we've been defamed and domesticated here too. But I'd really like some to taste some honey. We've gone looking for them countless times already. But the only harpies we managed to find are ones that didn't live in their settlement. I think we need to expand the search beyond the local forest. But it's hard to cover a large area with the numbers we've got. Which, by the way, if the Sparrow Girls, which didn't live in the settlement, didn't have to go into the tower, why the harpies at the Sirland Inn have to go? My harpy wife went back to her village and then disappeared completely. Huh, where could she have gone? Welcome to the Shaded Church. Can, what can I do for you? Pray. Let's pray. Duh. Oh, Layla, return to me! Now, now, drink some beer and drown your sorrows. Go, go, go. Oh, oh! Great, now he's sad and drunk. They were getting along so well with our Harpy sisters when they disappeared. I'm really worried. I hope they're safe. Now P's doing well. I go looking for her every day with my big sister, but we can't find her. I'll find them for you somehow. Harpies have a lot of attacks that manipulate the wind. If you have any equipment that reduces wind elemental damage, it'd give you an edge. Succubus types are naturally strong against wind, so imps will give you the edge, too. Sheep are bad against wind. It makes our wool stand on end. I've already noticed, but you can walk under this tree. Okay. Oh, beautiful feather. I'll take it. One day, several months ago, the Harpy Queen sent a messenger to tell us that something had come up and all the Harpies were heading back to their village. Again, why? Why bring them to the village that has the infection? You should tell them to stay away. They all went home. I figured they'd be right back as soon as they practically lived next door. I never expected that would be the last time we'd see any of them. A mass disappearance? Scary. 
Look at all those harpies have gone! Oh, a customer? I really... Uh, it's unfortunate your portrait there needs censored. I'm a fairy blacksmith and friends of the wind. I can craft wind and beam weapons and armor for you. My father is a great teacher. He teaches at Ilya Sports Academy. My father is a shrimp! Actually, I have no idea who he is. They say that the harpies left their... T they say that the harpies left on their own. Doesn't look like they were attacked. They even locked up behind them. But they left without saying anything to us. They are so close to them, though. It's hard to believe they just left. You are so close, but perhaps so far away as well. Maybe your relationship wasn't as deep as you thought. Oh, that's cruel. From what we can tell, the harpies must have left of their own accord. As my wife points out, it's strange that they didn't say anything to any of us. It is at least conceivable that they caught a contagious disease and quarantined themselves to prevent spreading it. Fortunately, we don't know much about monster physiology. We know they can be poisoned, but there aren't any recorded cases of them getting sick. That's because of the original Monster Lord's uh, uh, strategy of uh, making sure that all monster diseases were eliminated. Mainly to prevent uh, any of Ilias' biological weapons from being effective. <laughs> If you directly travel north from here, you'll come across a mysterious tower. It's been there as long as anyone can remember, but no one knows what it's used for. The entrance is locked up so no one can get inside, though. Perhaps there's a great treasure hidden away in there. Treasure? Let's check it out! A whole room full of cheese, maybe? That'd be great. Our relationship with the Harpies was extremely good. They loved our boys to death, after all. So I don't think they got mad at us and left or anything. I mean, they even need humans to have children. It's depressing not seeing them flapping their wings above us. It was such a common sight just a few months ago. I'll do my best to flap my wings for you. I bet you'll love it. Uh, thanks for your concern, but I'll pass. There's a large and used tower far to the north of here, but the entrance is blocked so no one can enter. I'm guessing that something is sealed inside, or perhaps someone evil. In any case, I doubt that the harpies could have been sealed in there. No one could do that to the Queen Harpy without causing quite a stir, at least. An old mysterious tower? Very suspicious. It sounds like we can't get in, but it's uh, worth remembering. <laughs> yeah, you would you would at least check out the tower. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Amir. That's number five. I don't think we can win against you. And a grass. I'll take it. Oh, what a disaster this is! Travelers, I'm sure you've heard about our situation. Please find out where the, our harpies have gone. As representative of Happiness Village, I implore you. If something bad happened to my little Harriet, I... Whack! Go! <laughs> See, you are still having marital disputes. Lately, the village chief can't do anything but worry about his lover. The whole mess is causing our village a lot of problems. 
As long as we can remember, our village has been bound by marriage to the Harpy Village. Without them around, we'll probably become overrun with virgin boys. Who would want to live in a village that constantly smelled like stuff? Not me, that's for sure. We'd face a serious shortage of labor as well. Travelers, please find where the harpies went. Of course, a reward would be in order. Please, we need your help. Okay, leave it to us. All right, I'm good to it. Oh, Phoenix Doll will take that. were true. There's no one here, not even a sign of anyone. It's kind of creepy. We should look around just to be sure. There might be some clues that will help us find them. It appears that our house is at the other side of the tree as well. Be sure to check the signboard so you don't miss any places. No sign of a struggle inside. There's a note written on the bottom of the sign. In temporarily closed for business. They must have left at their own will if they had time to write a note like this. It also implies that they intended to return. Considering how many months have passed, I feel something unexpected must have happened to them. signs of struggle inside. I know to scrawl it on the pad. Be back soon. Don't worry about us. I've been gone for months though. Did something unforeseen happen? The merchandise in the item shop is still arranged neatly on the shelves. There are no signs of damage. Various items have been left out. I'd feel bad for taking any of them, though. <laughs> there are no signs of struggle inside. Books are neatly arranged on the shelves. There are no signs of struggle. be any signs of a struggle, but there's someone in here! Oh, it's you guys. Whoa! Now this looks suspicious! You! Those clothes are so cool! Where'd you buy them? I want to set too! I made them myself. What? What? What the hell are you doing here? Don't tell me you're responsible for the Harpy's disappearance! You again? What on earth are you doing here? Wait, were you the one who exterminated the Harpies? 
No, no, don't jump to conclusions. I simply heard the rumors and came to investigate. Is that so? Did you discover anything? Indeed. I think I've got a good idea about what happened. The, king, the queen kept a journal hidden here in her house. According to what I've read, a strange disease began to spread through the village about a month before they disappeared. The disease made them so crazy with lust that they'd attack any man on sight. It appears to be ALKQ5 lust fever, an infectious disease that only affects birds. An infectious disease? But all the diseases that infected monsters were supposedly wiped out! Yes, AOKQ5 lust fever is an ancient disease that was eradicated a thousand years ago. Yet here it is again. AOKQ5 lust fever? The virus should have been eradicated ages ago. It was originally created as a biological weapon during the Great Monster Wars. By your side? I assume that makes you well acquainted with the situation. <laughs> anyway, the harpies lost control and became ferocious. The queen examined the literature and learned that it was the disease that was supposedly wiped out. It isn't fatal, but it does act on the hormonal balance to greatly increase the urge to breed. The only known treatment is to avoid contact with human males. Which is why the Harpies quarantined themselves. They chose the Harpy Tower directly north of here and are probably locked in there recuperating still. An epidemic? So that's why they all abandoned their homes. Phew. But why is such a strange disease present in the modern day? Was it not destroyed back then? Yeah, why is AOQKQ5 less fever still around? The second Monster Lord's health and sanitization policy should have eradicated it for good. There's probably a virus carrier, someone who still has the ancient virus in their body. Who could that be? Why would they even have it? There is another possibility to consider. If someone from ancient times appeared here. No way, you can't mean... More pressingly, the Harpies are still locked up in their tower. It could take decades of them weighing it out to completely recover. I don't need medicine to cure the disease any faster. I don't know of any medicine for such an old epidemic. I still need to learn a lot as a merchant. We had access to the World Tree Yggdrasil that the second Monster Lord planted. We could use its fruit to cure anything. Unfortunately, that's in Queen Alrone's domain. There's no way we could get there our current strength. I thought something like this might happen. I'm actually carrying some Yggdrasil fruits on me. Please get the harpies to each swallow a bit of it. There should be enough to go around. Yggdrasil fruit obtained. Is this really the fruit of the world tree? You're trying to trick us into poisoning them, are you? you? You don't trust me? Am I really that suspicious? Let's see, we could do yes or no. Uh, they keep saying he's suspicious, so go with yes. Yes, very much so. I've never seen anyone more suspicious in my life! I have nothing to gain by tricking you with this. Please have faith in me. Is this really the fruit of the world tree? I doubt you'd be trying to trick us into poisoning them or anything, but... No. No, I think we can trust what you told us. That's good to hear, thank you. I always get treated to a suspicion no matter where I go. Is he really surprised by that? I'll leave the harpies to you. As I said before, the harpy tower is far north of here. Many of them have probably gone crazy, so please be careful. I got some things to take care of myself, so let's all work hard together. With a teacup in hand, Nero begins reading the Queen's Journal. A teacup? It's my personal teacup, of course. I don't want to use someone else's things without permission. That's even weirder. So, why didn't the Harpies tell the residents of having this village about the disease? 
Perhaps I wanted to avoid scaring them. They wanted to have wanted people to know that the number of insane harpies were increasing. I could have hurt the relations with humans. They were hoping to find a solution before anyone found out. That's what the Queen wrote in her journal, at least. However, it wasn't that easy. In the end, they hid themselves away without saying anything to the villagers. I got to help them then! Q Q Q! I'll leave the harpies to you. As I said before, the harpy tower is far north of here. Many of them have probably gone crazy, so please be careful. I got some things to take care of myself, so let's all work hard together. Alright. Power Orc Girl. A powerful pig like monster who lives in it like a bandit and raids human villages with a club in one hand. She doesn't just plunder goods, but kidnaps men of age as well, and brings them back to her den to bad touch them. Sometimes violent gangbangs are done to acquire stuff. Surprisingly, she rarely ever kills humans and only uses violence for intimidation. Her place contains spiral-shaped folds, which cause most men to finish right after inserting. Her muscular lower body also contributes to her, her place's tightness, giving it one of the best among the beast race. Many kidnapped men become captivated by their renowned genitals. They usually act in a group, but when they are alone, their personalities become quiet, and they will even show a playful side. Although they have a ferocious group mentality, they appear to be gentle, honest species at their core. Receive evaluation. The prey of an orc girl. Are you some princess knight? Are you going to plead, k kill me next? The orc girl is a highly offensive opponent. If her power techniques hit you, it will be painful. But since she's part of the beast race, status effects are powerful. Inflicting blind, for example, will be very effective. She's also vulnerable to pleasure, so those work well. She's difficult to in an upfront battle, but is fairly brittle. Now go, Princess Knight Luca. Nobody will care if something like an orc is removed from this world. Bee Girl, an insect monster that resembles a bee. She carries a large source of honey with her at all times, but that alone is not enough to feed her. The Bee Girl's favorite food is mix their honey with a male stuff. To create this mixture, she will aggressively attack travelers. She will first cover her target with honey, and then slowly lick it off as it mixes with his sweat. Due to the combination of her incredibly long tongue and her sticky honey, she is able to easily force men to finish. Forcing her prey to finish continuously, she will feast on their mixture. The bee girl is particularly fickle and will generally get tired of the taste of their catch after around five times. After that, they are known to release their prey. However, if they find a rare taste that they really enjoy, they may keep their prey forever. Did it feel good having a honeybee lick you all over? A girl with some sense of shame wouldn't be so weak to pleasure, you know. Bee girls don't have any particularly threatening bow skills. Poison is annoying, but not that dangerous. The trouble with them is their defense. If your attacks are weak, you have a hard time dealing any damage. However, if you use skills to weaken their defense, they go down quickly. Also, they're vulnerable to all abnormal status effects, so use those. Now go, oh brave Luca. I don't want to see you in such a sticky situation again. Sparrow Girl. A weak bird monster that is a variant of the harpy race. Modest and quiet, their physical abilities are weaker compared to the average harpy. Since their bodies are small, however, they have excellent maneuverability. She is a monster who announces the arrival of dawn, and her sparrow dance is the effect of waking people from their slumber. The Sparrow Girl herself is very meticulous and does not go to sleep accidentally. Reproduction is done by politely asking a human male to mate with them. However, they have been known to attack and force men to mate with them if they step into their territory. Although they are a quiet species, it is unwise to disturb them. After that, she birthed our child. I had a family and lived a peaceful life.
You lost to a sparrow girl. What are you? A power lined perch on? Oops, I guess you wouldn't know what that is. Well, then a roof. The sparrow girl is a very weak monster. There's nothing particularly dangerous about her. However, her avoidance is rather high. A high accuracy bow or magic would be advisable. Now go, oh brave Luca. Sparrows are harmful animals who eat crops and make them extinct. 